guys welcome back today's video is going to be on this look and I think it's a very fresh natural fall look because I don't have too much going on on the eyes as you can see it's super sort of soft except for the lashes of course but that's optional you'll see towards the end of the video um, but I just wanted to keep it really bold in terms of the lip goes but then really soft and natural on the eyes anyway I'm blabbering too much you're gonna see the tutorial in a minute I hope you guys enjoy it I love you and let's get started I've already got my moisturizer and primer on. I went in with the Marc Jacobs primer today because in the fall, you all obviously want your skin to be nice and hydrated. So I personally like using uh, more hydrating primers. So then for my foundation, I'm going to be using the new Lancome Taint Edu Ultra Cushion Foundation. This came out in August, so I thought I will apply it and give you guys like a mini review at the same time. I'm obsessed with the packaging as usual. And then when you open it, you get like a huge mirror, which is nice for traveling and just like having to do your makeup. And then of course you get a little sponge. So my shade is 360 Bisque. I could probably go for something a little bit darker, but since I'm gonna be bronzing my skin today, I think this will do. So first I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pick up some product and then we're gonna go ahead and apply it all over the skin. This is so easy to apply by the way because of the sponge you, you see how like you get such a big area so this is an oil free cushion foundation and it has SPF 50 which I think would be great for every day because you get that extra protection and then um, it is oil free and it's full coverage as you can see but it is buildable so if you didn't want so much coverage you don't have to pick up as much product um, which is kind of nice so it's definitely very pigmented as you can see because I'm still using the same uh, amount that I had picked up the first time. So I'm just taking this all the way down to my neck. So it goes on really smoothly and it blends very easily. You just want to like press the sponge and not really drag it too much. And I do like to apply this all over. I do like to cover my entire eyelid as well as my under eye area because I think that this does a really good job concealing those areas, but I am of course gonna use a concealer because I do like to highlight with my concealer as well. It's very dewy because I just put this on, but it is supposed to dry to a natural matte um, finish. And uh, it also says that it's long lasting, so that should be good for every day. Um, so now I'm just gonna conceal a little bit under my eyes to kind of bring that brightness back. And then we'll go ahead and set everything in place. I'm using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Vanilla instead of Custard, which is what I normally use, because I'm gonna go ahead and highlight with this color. I'm actually gonna go ahead and use the same sponge to set my concealer in place as well. So I'm gonna use the usual, the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder to set my under eye area as well as the center of my face. Okay, foundation is done. We're gonna move on to highlighting. I think overall the foundation looks really good on my skin. I'm super happy with it. I do like that it doesn't mattify it too much. It's like, like a natural matte finish, I would say. It's not overpowering. So I'm gonna go ahead and highlight the high points of my cheeks using the Artist Couture Highlighter. This one is in Illuminati. The brush that I'm using is Smith 112. You guys already know I like putting highlighter on the high points of the cheeks, sort of the cupid's bow, tip of the nose, around this area of the forehead, a little bit on the chin. Just very beautiful and glowy. It's not too frosty, which is nice. If you want the pigments to stand out more, you can use like a cream highlighter before or you can also dampen your brush a little bit. So I just mixed a little bit of my primer with my highlighter so that it's a little more intense. Look at that. Wow. Okay, so for my bronzer, I'm going to go in with my Too Faced Chocolate Bronzer. I haven't used this in a minute, but it's definitely one of my favorites. And then a Smith 118 brush. And I'm just going to get this on the hollows of my cheeks. And I'm also going to get this on the jawline right here to kind of slim this down a bit. And of course, the sides of my nose. I don't do major contouring for my nose, you guys know that. 
I just kind of push whatever I have left on my brush upwards like this and then a little bit on the tip. For my blush, I wanted something a little bit cooler, so I'm going in with this Marc Jacobs blush in number 500, and I'm just gonna get this on the apples of my cheeks. This is really pigmented too, so you gotta like be careful not to apply too much, which happens to me all the time, you know. This week has been so crazy because I'm getting ready for all these trips coming up, and so I'm kind of pre-filming. Um, so I have enough videos, but I'm going to Hawaii and then I'm going to New York for New York Fashion Week. So you guys should definitely keep up with me on Instagram and Snapchat because that's where I'll be, you know, active and sort of like daily vlogging. Next, I'm going to fill in my brows because Lord knows my brows are very thin right now. I'm actually using so many different products to grow them. Um, I've snapped about it a bunch of times, but I really really cannot wait until my brows are back to the way they were unfortunately this is like a little too thin for my taste so i'm kind of just making it thicker from the top and then also from this section over here by the way this is the brow gal pencil in number three and it's very dark for me so what i want to do is uh, lighten it a little bit using a gel. So I'm gonna go in with my Too Faced brow gel and this has it's really light I'm assuming it's for blondes, but I'm just gonna lighten it <laughs> Because it's way too dark. I Kind of like doing this though because I feel like it almost like highlights the brows and it also sets it in place So I don't mind going in with like a dark pencil first if I know I'm gonna go ahead and lighten it with this Onto the eyes, I'm going to be using the Styled by Harush palette by Tarte Cosmetics. And I'm going to be sticking to more of the lighter shades because I want this look to be really natural, just like lips and lashes. I'm going to go in with Bliss and apply this on the inner corners of my eyes first. And that's going to just really highlight that area. This is such a pretty color. So I'm also going to take this in a little bit. And then I'm going to go ahead and pick up Smitten, which is a little bit more on the pink side, right over here. And I'm just going to apply this on the brow bone. Next, with a fluffy brush, I'm going to go ahead and pick up Pinch, which is more of a peachy um, transitional color right over here. It's like a peachy neutral shade. And I'm going to get this on the crease. So then I'm going to pick up Vamp, which is more of a gray color, and it's all matte. And again, I'm going to pop this on the crease. I love building colors because I just feel like when you close your eyes, you can really see the transition between the two colors. The last color that I'm going to pick up is this guy over here, which is called Kitty. I'm going to pop that right on the outer corners and just on the crease. This is very pigmented, so a little bit of it goes a long way. So I'm just lightly smoking this, but not too much. It's more, I call this more contouring, I feel like, for the eye because it really makes a difference, opens up the eye very, um, very well. So I like to just blend it until I see no harsh edges. So I'm also going to apply Kitty on the bottom lash line to kind of define it. So just on the outer corners and I'm using a big fluffy brush because I want this to be kind of thick. Um, I am going to obviously blend it so it just smokes it out really nicely. So then you can pick up a really clean big fluffy brush and make sure all of the harsh edges are blended. By the way, this is the Urban Decay brush in E201. It's the Smoky Crease Brush. They just came out with their new brushes too. So I was like, okay, let's give it a try. It's pretty good. Blends really well. So I have a question for you guys. Do you want to see another makeup tutorial using all new makeup products? I feel like the first one I did, you guys loved it. But I know I just did, did one like maybe two months ago. Would you want to see another one using just all new launches and kind of um, somewhat reviewing it as I'm putting it on my face or would you rather see more of a chit chat makeup tutorial and kind of updating you guys on like what's been going on <laughs> in my life I guess um, so yeah let me know which one you want to see in the comments below because I want to film one of those guys very soon
So lastly on the lid, I'm going to go in with Smitten. And I'm going to pop that just directly on the lid. I'm going to curl my lashes and then get it prepped for my mascara. So for my mascara, I'm going to go in with the new Lancome Grandiose Mascara. You guys know I love this mascara. This is actually a new one that they launched. It's a newer formula to give you more volume and, you know, better their formula, I guess. And so we are going to give this a try for the first time. So this is what the brush looks like got a lot of bristles so you want to just wiggle it up because then you get the volume more towards the bottom of the lashes and it's almost like brushing every hair it's kind of like the feeling that I'm getting so as you can see it's definitely volumizing I would say it's lengthening too um, but I'm not putting too much pigment on top because I prefer the volume to come from the bottom from the root up so i'm just kind of wiggling it but then as i get to the top i'm have i have like a really really light hand okay so i definitely like it um it reminds me of the original grandiose mascara but it is a lot more pigmented i would say so i'm just going to go ahead and apply a little bit on the bottom lashes as well The eyes are almost done. I'm going to actually do my lips first because I want to show you guys how it looks without lashes. And then towards the end, I always like giving guys, you guys the option of what the look would look like if you were to like pop on some lashes. So let's do the lips, shall we? So for my lips, I'm going to use Pat McGrath's new lipstick. This is the Lust 004 collection. And the color that I'm going to be using is Venom 2. So this is a matte lipstick. It goes on really creamy though at first. She has glitter with this too, but might be a little too much for a natural. Oh my God, look at that color. It's so pretty. Um, I think the glitter might be too much for a natural fall look. I do have a blog post on these lipsticks though if you guys want to see what it looks like. So whenever you're working with dark colors, um, you want to tilt your head down and then when you tilt it down you can see where you need to add more and that's where you can straighten the um, upper lip and then you want to do the same thing for the bottom lip you want to kind of tilt your head up and do the same thing so that's kind of what I'm doing now so then of course you want to clean this up or else it won't be perfect so I'm going to go in to my foundation get a little product and you want to use a synthetic brush for this so this is the look without any lashes. As you can see, this looks really natural, but it's also very fall appropriate. And it's not hard because all you have going on really is like a super dark lip and everything else on the eyes are very light and natural. But if you wanted to take this to more of an evening, something a little bit more like glamorous, then I would definitely add some lashes because it does add a lot of volume and it also just intensifies the look and makes it more glam. So I am going to do that for you guys so you can have kind of both options. So for my lashes, I'm going to go in with these Tarte eyelashes. These are called Goddess. So I'm going to look down and then use tweezers to get this really close to my lash line. And then you want to say a little prayer and then go in. I'm going to do one last thing. I'm going to add a little bit of this Urban Decay Razor Sharp liquid liner in gold and right on the inner corners just to give it that beautiful extra shimmery highlight so obviously this is like if you want to play with lashes and take this to the next level you can do this but obviously without lashes and without the inner corner highlight i think it just makes such an effortless and natural bright fall makeup look this tutorial i hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did give it a thumbs up as usual share it if you loved it and um i'll see you guys in the next one and of course be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because i do upload once a week now i used to upload twice a week it's coming back i promise twice a week videos are coming back very soon um i just 
have a lot going on right now, so I'm taking a little pause from it. But anyways, uh, I will see you guys in the next one. I love you. Bye. I love rich, rich. It's doing so good. It's a really natural and bright, fresh. No, but well, one more time.